Hello, kumusta po kayo? Ako po si Kay Jean at samahan niyo ako na makipag heart to heart talk about life. There was this saying na talagang tumatak sa puso't isip ko na I have used it at hanggang sa ngayon ay ginagamit ko pa. Learn to rest but not to quit. Matuto tayong magpahinga pero huwag tayong susuko. A lot of people fight their battles every day without realizing that there is a need for them to rest. Pag sinabi kasi nating rest, sa Tagalog, ito ay pahinga. So, you need to sleep, eat, and do the things that will make you feel relaxed. Pero, in a deeper sense, ang dami nating bagay na kailangan gawin. We should have a break, unwind, at magkaroon tayo ng self-realization. Para nang sa gayon, no matter what problems yung pinagdaraanan natin, ay makakayanan natin. Because, honestly speaking, we physically became exhausted. Napapagod yung isip mo, yung puso mo. Dumarating tayo sa point na napapagod din tayo makipag-socialize sa iba. Because we became too sensitive or parang vice versa. And have you ever experienced na parang ang baba-baba ng level ng spirituality mo? Yung tipong nanlulupay-pay ka, na parang hindi mo na maramdaman yung connection mo with God. Well, that's just normal. So, part siya lahat ng pakikipagsapalara natin dito sa mundo. Now, when we say quitting, it means pagsuko. I want you to know na iba ito sa surrendering everything to God. Kasi when we say we surrender everything to God, ibig sabihin ay nire-rely natin kay God at iniaasa natin ang mga bagay na mangyayari in accordance to His will. So, everything happens for a purpose. Pero when you say quitting, ibig sabihin, you are giving up your ambitions, your goals. At parang sinabi mo na rin na you are admitting to yourself na isa kong kanunay. So, hindi dapat ganun. So, learn to go on with the flow of life. Dapat marunong tayong makisabay sa agos ng panahon. Because in life, hindi mo masasabi kung ano yung pwedeng mangyari. If you continue fighting for the battle until the end of your journey, hindi naman magiging stable or stagnant lang yung situation mo. Say for example, hirap na hirap ka sa life ngayon, just visualize. Hindi naman after 10 years ay ganun pa rin ang current situation. Instead, once na magsikap ka and uh, ginawa mo lahat para sa pangarap mo, you will realize na iba na pala. So, take everything one step at a time.